ever ordered anything online? Like, who hasn't these days, right? <laughs> but have you ever stopped to think about how that package actually gets from clicking buy now to arriving at your doorstep? It's something we take for granted, but there's a whole intricate system behind those deliveries, and that system is rapidly changing, going electric, in fact. It's true, and it's happening faster than most people realize. We're diving deep into the world of electric delivery vans today, looking at why they're taking off so quickly and what it means for the future of, well, everything. And it's not just a fringe trend anymore. This is going mainstream and it's happening at a pace that's pretty remarkable. Right. And the numbers in this Clean Technica article really jumped out at me. In 2021, electric delivery vans were barely a blip on the radar. A handful registered nationwide, literally. Fast forward to today and we're talking about over 22,000. That's a pretty staggering increase, and it really highlights just how quickly this sector is electrifying. So what's driving this incredible growth? Well, it's a confluence of factors. When you think about it, this segment of the transportation industry is actually a perfect candidate for electrification. How so? Well, for starters, you have predictable routes. Mm. These vans aren't driving across state lines. They're operating within a specific area, doing relatively short loops. So their daily mileage is pretty manageable, which aligns well with what most electric models can handle these days, right? Exactly. And the article actually points out that over 90% of these vans travel less than 100 miles a day, which is well within the range of even the most basic electric vans out there. Okay, that makes sense. No need to worry about running out of juice mid-delivery. But what about charging all these vans? I mean, isn't that one of the biggest hurdles with electric vehicles in general, the whole charging infrastructure thing it's definitely a consideration yeah but delivery vans actually have an advantage here unlike those big rigs you see on the highway they don't need those specialized high-powered charging stations so they're not as reliant on building a whole new infrastructure from scratch exactly most delivery vans can charge overnight using those standard level two chargers that you're starting to see everywhere you know workplaces apartment complexes even some people have them at home so they can piggyback on existing infrastructure, which makes the transition a lot smoother. Okay, so we've got the range covered. The charging situation seems manageable, but what about the environmental impact? I mean, one little van going electric doesn't seem like it would make that much of a dent when you think about the massive emissions from things like cargo ships or airplanes. It's true. One van might not seem like a lot in the grand scheme of things, but you have to remember it's not just about one van, it's about the collective impact of an entire industry shifting towards electric. Okay, so how big is this industry bucket we're dealing with here? Well, the article throws out this pretty staggering figure. Class 2B and 3 vans, those are the delivery vans we're talking about, they cover over 33 billion miles annually, just in the U.S. alone. 33 billion, wow, yeah, okay, now those little vans are starting to feel like a much bigger deal. Right. It's not just a drop in the bucket anymore. And to really put that into perspective, those billions of miles, all those delivery vans on the road, they generate a massive amount of emissions. The article says it's equivalent to, get this, nearly 70 natural gas power plants operating for a whole year. Okay, now that's an image. So even one van making the switch from gas to electric, it's contributing to a much, much bigger solution. Absolutely. And this brings us to another really important point that we haven't touched on yet the economic side of things. Right, because businesses aren't exactly known for making decisions based on warm, fuzzy feelings alone. If they're embracing electric delivery vans on this scale, the numbers have to add up. Precisely. And that was one of the things that really intrigued me about this article. They actually do a side-by-side -side cost comparison of a gas-powered Ford Transit van, which is a super popular choice for deliveries with its electric counterpart. What's the verdict? Is electric really as cost-effective as everyone's saying it is? Well, the initial sticker price of an electric vehicle is still generally higher, but that gap is narrowing, in part because of those government incentives like the federal tax credit from the Inflation Reduction Act. Right, that $7,500 tax credit can definitely sweeten the deal for businesses. But what about those day-to-day -day running costs, fuel, maintenance, all that stuff? Well, electricity is, without a doubt, significantly cheaper than gasoline or diesel. We're talking about fuel costs as low as $0.10 cents per mile for an electric Ford Transit compared to almost double that, 19 cents a mile, for the gas version. Okay, so even if the upfront cost is a bit higher, you're making up for it pretty quickly with those fuel savings. Mm. Especially if you're a company with a whole fleet of delivery vans, those savings add up fast. They really do. And on top of that, you have the potential for lower maintenance costs with electric vehicles. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. 
fewer moving parts, so fewer things to break down or need replacing. Exactly. And that's one of the reasons we see these big corporations, the ones with those massive delivery fleets like Amazon, Walmart, FedEx, they're all going all in on electric vans. These companies are obsessed with efficiency, with squeezing every penny, so their willingness to invest in electric speaks volumes about its financial viability. So it's not just about being green, it's about being green and making green, but it makes you wonder, are we gonna see this everywhere? That's the big question, isn't it? Like, is this just the first step? Right. Are we gonna see electric long haul trucks replacing those big rigs on the highway? It's an exciting thought. Imagine like that quiet hum of an electric motor instead of that diesel engine roar. And think about the air quality improvements, especially in cities where you've got these delivery trucks everywhere. I mean, it's not just about what's in the package anymore. It's the bigger picture. Right. It's about changing how we move things around fundamentally. And what's really cool about this whole delivery van thing is that it's a real world example of how this kind of large scale change can actually happen. It's not some pie in the sky idea. It's happening right now because it makes sense on multiple levels. Totally. So next time you're walking down the street and you see that delivery van pull up, take a second to notice if it's electric. Because that quiet hum, it's not just the sound of a package arriving. It might be the sound of the future. The future where we're all breathing a little easier and those packages are arriving, well, maybe just as fast, but a lot cleaner. Who knows what other changes are just around the corner.